So Black Widow came out, and a lot of people were wondering, how come we didn't get that Spider-Man No Way Home trailer like everybody speculated we would? And I think the answer is very simple. Because they're waiting for Shang-Chi. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storms. If you're finding me for the very first time, please do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. That way you guys can stay up to date on all future content here on the channel. If you want more premium exclusive content, then please click that join button and pick a tier that best suits you because it helps out the channel a lot. With that said, guys, let's get into the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. A lot of people are wondering why we did not get that trailer at the beginning of Black Widow. And my simple answer is well they don't need to promote that movie right now as much as we want that movie to see that trailer we don't need that trailer right now and the fact is they were probably waiting for loki to finish if you guys watched the end of loki seen the events that unfold you know that it created the multiverse and with spider-man no way home with all the rumors of tom mcguire andrew garfield and all these villains it would make more sense for them to show that in the trailer but if loki didn't come out yet it would just spoil the events of loki or vice versa so i really think that they didn't need to show that trailer before Black Widow. We were already sold on it. Plus, they need to get more movies like Eternals and Shang-Chi that comes out in September more exposure because the next MCU movies in line is Shang-Chi that comes out in September and Eternals that comes out shortly after that. Spider-Man No Way Home doesn't come out to the middle of December, December 17th, so they don't need to show that trailer. To me, it makes more sense on a business aspect if you release the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer before Shang-Chi. One, it gets more butts and seats, and two, you'll be able to promote promote Spider-Man No Way Home even more so by showing it in front of Shang-Chi. Plus, we don't have to worry about any spoilers with the multiverse, you know, conflicting with what was going on in Disney Plus with Loki. If you think about it, yes, as fans, we wanted the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer already because we're so used of before COVID when we used to get these trailers like a year, a year and a half out, right? We would get a teaser like a year out. But things have changed. COVID really changed a lot of things. Loki had to come out to kind of enter in us to the multiverse. And now that kind of leads into Spider-Man No Way Home. So I'm almost certain I'm willing to put money on it that we are getting that Spider-Man No Way Home trailer in September with the release of Shang-Chi. I also want to remind everybody that more often than not, the trailers that get released before these movies are always shown online a day or two before they actually get released in theaters. So if Shang-Chi releases Thursday at 7 o'clock, we're probably going to get a Spider-Man No Way Home trailer either Tuesday or Wednesday. That's usually how it goes. Now, I know back in the old days, they had exclusive trailers for exclusive movies. We all remember, you know, Star Wars, The Phantom Menace, the next exclusive trailer, and everybody went to go see that movie just to see that two minute trailer and then they dipped but things have really changed in the past five to six years where these trailers usually come out online before they even come out before the movie but don't worry i'm looking forward to that trailer too and i'm telling you mark my words it will be released before the shang tree trailer because it's going to be put in front of that trailer so before september so i'm thinking probably end of august early September, we're going to get the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. That's my thoughts on it, guys. I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. And until next time, as always, I am Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.